I'm Brian Kluger. Good to oh, meet Brian you. Kluger. Yeah, yeah we nice go to way back you. to New York. Yes, indeed. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. I've got to ask. Got to start at the very beginning, like in The Sound of Music. Yes. Where did it all begin for you in movies? Was it something you saw on your parents' television or radio? Where did you first get that spark? I made the mistake of going to Yale University. I was going to be a, a social worker or teach people with hooks for hands how to finger paint or teach bums how to uh, put beads on a, on a thread and paint happy faces on the beads. But my roommate freshman year was running the Yale Film, so Film Society. I get very emotional, sorry. And uh, uh, one evening, I used to drift in to see uh, those movies that uh, Yale Film Society was showing. One night they showed Ernst Lubitsch's To Be or Not To Be uh, with Jack Benny, Carol Lombard, and uh, Robert Stack. And, uh, I decided I didn't want to just uh, teach the uh, people with hooks for hands and the bums. Uh, I wanted to film them. And uh, from then on, I decided to uh, make uh, movies. And uh, fifth, Troma was formed 50 years ago, our movie studio, uh, longest running and uh, most uh, 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 failing uh, film studio in uh, film history. Right, right. And it's been great. And so I have to ask, all the movies you've done, all the movies you've been in, you're a cinematic aficionado, right? Are there any particular scenes in a movie that have always stuck with you that help shape you creatively? Well, again, uh, to be or not to be, Ernst Lubitsch, it's a, 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 I major in Chinese studies and philosophy of, of, uh, of, um, of Lao Tzu, uh, the uh, yin and the yang, the dualistic universe where you have pain and pleasure. And all. Lubitsch was crazy, his films are crazy, but they're so beautifully uh, organized and so, so uh, disciplined. Uh, so the whole film is wonderful. But as far as the trauma movies go, uh, 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 Michael Hers, my partner of 50 years, who does not appear in public, uh, he and I created the full head squashing scene uh, in the original Toxic Avenger, where a young boy's head was squashed by a, 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 an automobile wheel. And um, uh, at the time, it was not looked upon uh, greatly. But now Spielberg uses them. Scorsese's had a full head squashing. Uh, there's one in tar. I mean, uh, everybody does it. It's really good. It's really good. And then my last question for you, um, if you can insert Toxie into any movie in the universe to make that movie better, what movie would it be? <laughs> I think I can stop at uh, uh, insert Toxie into any movie. Uh, Oppenheimer? <laughs> well, making Oppenheimer Blair is the is save Toxie. But uh, I would say um, Evil Dead 2. I think it'd be nice to have a very, uh, a very uh, kind of... Uh, uh, superhero who doesn't want to kill people, whose traumatons cause him to go after evil people. Uh, I, I think that's a good one. And it's very scary, and Toxie's not scary, and uh, we could use more. Well, I mean, after all, Sam Raimi, what has he done lately? I mean, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to Thank see you. Thank you. Good to see you. That's like I want to show off. Brian Kluger. Brian, Brian. Rush good Chairman. Dan yes, glad to meet you. Good to see you. <laughs> it's been a while since we were on the stairs together. I know, right. All right. I'm going to ask uh, the same question. Start out with your younger brother, Lloyd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he is my younger brother. He's made some questionable choices, but he's actually six years younger than I am. So. We hope he pulls through. We hope he pulls through. Poor guy. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, if you can insert Toxie into any other movie in the universe to make it better, what movie are you inserting Toxie in? The Conformist. Okay. Good yeah. choice. Why? He'll just solve fascism all at once. He'll just like mop it out and just they won't have to worry about it anymore. All right. I like that. Um, if there's one image from from any trauma movie, including the one you. You have just did. One you know exactly which which one, one are you tattooing on your body? Oh, oh, that's not what I thought you were going to ask. <laughs> okay, um, right. Um, probably, I mean, from any trauma movie, including the one. I, 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 th there's an image in this one tonight. It's actually the T-shirt that Peter is wearing, that has an inverted skull on it. That at some point I'm gonna get. I thought you were going to ask me which one is fused into my brain, and it's the kid getting ran over repeatedly by the car. <laughs> okay. That's everybody's answer. I'm certain of it. But um, no, I'll probably get that skull, or, or maybe some version of the mop with some smoke coming off of it or something like that. I don't know. It's a good question. I'm going to have to, I'll get it. 
take a picture of it and then I'll send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. I'll thank be talking you. with you again. Awesome. Looking forward to it. <laughs>